There is no need to hold back, my child. All right. Queen Numera, I don't want to attack you. Oh, I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. No disrespect, Queen Lumera, but I've got to attack you. That's the spirit, Fram. Queen Lumera, please forgive me for standing against you. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. This is certainly more of a challenge. Your enemies will not hold back, and neither will I. That is why you must defeat me. What a delight it is to see you in battle after all these years. Who are you, and what do you want? I am here to fight, not exchange words. Louis, thank goodness. Princess Saline, how relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Chloe, I am relieved to see you're all right. You too, Princess Saline. I was able to find Alfred, and the Divine Dragon no less. After that, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from within my ring. A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. Looky here, the runaway princess. I'll make you fly the coop again. I am not running this time. It will be you who flees for your life. I will show you no mercy. Prepare to die. Ooh, the Divine Dragon. If I kill you, I won't have to lick her boots anymore. You invaded my castle and threatened my mother. I'll slay you where you stand. Oh, the Prince of Flowerland is threatening me. I'm real scared. It's not safe here. You should be running. I can't. I'm the local doctor's son. I won't leave until I've helped the injured. You've got a lot of heart for your kid your age. All right. Let's join forces and save those villagers. I really appreciate the help. My name's John. Now come on. There's work to do. What's a little girl doing here? This is a bandit fort. It's no place for children. But you're not a bandit, right? So why don't you keep me safe? Well, I mean, I could, but... It's a deal! Thanks a million! You might not think so, but I'm pretty handy in a fight. Let me help you help me! Well, well, well. So the thief turned out to be just some brat. What do you say, boys? I bet we could get a pretty penny and ransom out of her parents. My parents have no idea where I am. So that's a pretty weak threat, if you ask me. Yeah, well, I didn't ask you. We'll figure that out later. Wow, the Divine Dragon! Happy to meet you. But I'd be happier if you gave me your rings. <laughs> I'd be happy if you surrendered. Up close, you're only half as captivating as I thought, Divine Dragon. That's what you care about here in battle? Let's just settle this. Return the ring. No way! I'm the one who's after the rings. We could have done this the easy way, but no! You had to be stubborn. I'm stubborn. What a pleasure it is to see you up close, Divine One. That ring should be in Letho's castle. Return it. <laughs> if I say no, will you come nearer? Prince Diamond, I'm so glad you're safe. Is everything all right at the castle? Yes. The Divine Dragon helped us. However, Father... He's in peril. Jade, I relieve you of your border duties. You're with me from now on. Of course. Excuse me, 
Are you all right? Oh, yes. I was meditating for a moment. Who are you? A new border guard? No, I'm the Divine Dragon. <sighs> How rude of me. I am Jade, a royal knight of Brodia. Prince Diamant has told me about you. May I join your ranks, Divine One? Of course. Welcome, Jade. Thank you. Now then, I'll show you why they call me the Iron Wall. My father's orders were plain. You will not pass. You took my sister from me! I'll never forgive you! You! Dragon! You're the one who killed my sister, aren't you? No. Ivy is alive. Then where is she? If she's alive, prove it! I don't know where she is. See? I knew it! You're lying! I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! This is our last sparring match, isn't it, Father? When I was a boy, you taught me the meaning of strength. You'd make light of it. But you were preparing me for when I'd have to fight my own battles. That day has come. And you prepared me well. Your life was devoted to protecting Brodia's honor. Now I take on that mantle. <laughs> was I a good son? I should have asked you that sooner. You instilled in me pride and strength. But most importantly, you gave me your love. I should have told you what that meant. Father, if you have to die, let it be by my hand. This would be an unbearable burden for Diamant. So I... I must... I must do this, Father! If some part of you is still in there, just... Thank you for everything. I love you. I always will. King Morian, you said you wanted to duel when we made it back to the castle, remember? I wish we could have crossed swords as friends. Now, we must face each other as enemies. Oh, poor thing. Sorry you lost your little friend. Want me to make it better? <laughs> you? Is this the best they can do? This'll be a sitch. I find easy victories dissatisfying. Attack me with all your might. I'll make it hurt real good. Try to do the same for me, yeah? You would attack me? How brave. And foolish. Your army is not to be trifled with. Because I respect you, I will hold nothing back. Solm Palace is so pretty. <laughs> it's a nicer tomb than you deserve. The stolen rings. You'll return them, won't you? Well, if it isn't my favorite lizard, how's Solm treating you? Don't you worry, your friends are safe with me. Sigurd, Selica, Micaiah, Mark. You? Oh, did you want to see them? Shame, I didn't bring them with me. Couldn't have you taking them, could I? Hortensia, please, come to your senses. Why fight me, Ivy? All I want is to bring Father back. Don't you miss him? Of course. So much I fear my heart will never mend. That's why I cannot lose you two. You there. Are you hurt? Who are you? Don't worry. I'm not your enemy. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon, you say? What do you know? My card spoke true. Unexpected source indeed. Thank you. I am Seedol, a traveling dancer. I was out there rehearsing, and those creatures appeared. A talking ring called me to safety. A talking ring, hmm? Yes. I believe it's a young princess who fell victim to some sort of curse. Isn't that awful? Not a curse, exactly. You know her story, then. Tell me, 
Who is this mysterious ring woman? Hand it to me, and we'll find out together. All right. Bear your fangs! Emblem of Fates! I am Emblem Corin. I'll fight with all I have. Thank you for finding me. I'll help ensure the path you decide to walk is the right one. Thank you, Emblem Corin. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long. An emblem? Really? One of the godlike figures of legend. Seedal, would you fight by Corin's side? We could use your help getting out of here. It would be my pleasure. This world. Wonders upon wonders. Hmm. I should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. No mercy for mutineers. Huh? He came here to hunt a couple thieves. What are you punks doing here? <laughs> gotcha, sticky fingers. Wanna find out what I do to no good traitors? <laughs> you hit me, I hit you. Let's get this pain party started. With him at my side, I'm invincible. You're going down for sure. I will stop at nothing to protect Lady Vale. You think you can defeat me and my knight? Then by all means, try. I remember nothing. That look on your face, is it fear or hatred? Hortensia. Father, I've missed you. I wanted to see you so badly. I've been so sad since you died. Then, dear daughter, follow me. Kill your friends and bring me their rings. No, I won't. I want to live up to my father, the wise king of Illusia. My real father. Before the fell dragon ruined him. <sighs> Goodbye, father. I'm sad we didn't have more time together. I love you. Soon this will all be over, okay? Soon you'll be able to rest. I... Father... I've not seen you since we were at the Brodian border. That was our farewell. In this life, at least. It need not be. I can appeal to Lord Sombrod. Ask him to welcome you back as our ally. No. You are... Not you. I will not cling tearfully to my father's shadow. But I am grateful for this. Grateful for the chance to thank you. Say goodbye. And tell you that as Elugia's queen, I will surpass you. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Quite a backdrop, isn't it? Flora looks much prettier up in flames. I knew you'd come if I set it ablaze. And the corrupted that frightened you so much. They're not so scary this way, are they? Are you talking about King Hyacinth? Yes. I thought seeing him would make you smile. We are friends after all. Oh. But we had a falling out, didn't we? The other veil must be simply heartbroken. <sighs> Death does not frighten me. I know my wife awaits me on the other side. Princess Hortensia. Lyndon, is that you? You remember me. Sure I do. I'd never forget my uncle's loyal retainer. We used to play together when I was little. Gotta say, I thought you'd have retired by now. I did. Even so, when the war became fiercer, they called upon me to serve. Still, why I should spill blood for this broken nation, I do not know. Lyndon, what if you came over to our side? My sister and I are helping the Divine Dragon take back Illusia. You could join us. Princess Ivy? She is alive? Your Highness, I am all too glad to accept your invitation. I may be getting on in years, but with my magic, I can still open these soldiers' eyes to the truth. 
Princess Ivy, you are alive! Lyndon, is that you? You remember me. Of course. You were a loyal retainer to my uncle, King Hyacinth's older brother. When father inherited the throne, your lord left the castle, but... I remained and served for quite a long time thereafter. Princess Ivy, Illusia has not been the same since King Hyacinth's death. If you would grant me the honor, I, Lyndon, would be proud to fight by your side. Are you certain? If you side with me, you will be opposing Illusia. Nonsense. Where you stand, there lies Illusia. I may be getting on in years, but with my magic, I can still open these soldiers' eyes to the truth. <sighs> you aren't fighting? I suppose I should. Yet I find myself reluctant to spill blood for this broken nation. <laughs> Look at me, saying such a thing to my foe. I must be going senile. Why don't you join me? I'm the Divine Dragon. My army is working to defeat the Fell Dragon and take back Illusia. The Divine Dragon? I know, you're devoted to the Fell Dragon, but... I am allied with Princess Ivy, if that helps. Princess Ivy is alive! As far as I'm concerned, where she stands, there lies Illusia. My devotion has always been to the royal family itself. Please, take me with you. Of course. Thank you. Uh... Linden, long ago I served as a royal soldier. I may be getting on in years, but with my magic, I can still open these soldiers' eyes to the truth. You betrayed us! I fight to restore Illusia. You fight for its decline. Which of us is truly on the wrong side? Here we go! Now I deserve no less. Well, if it isn't the Divine Dragon. I know you. You're that knight I met at Brodia Castle, right? Saphir of the Royal Guard, at your service. Prince Diamond sent word that your ship was headed to Illusia. With the situation at the castle under control, I thought I'd come give you a hand. I'm glad you decided to join us. When Prince Diamond wrote us about the King's death, I felt like I had no choice. It's my duty to protect the kingdom His Majesty left behind. Diamond will rule that kingdom, so my life belongs to him, and to you. Use it well. Prince Diamond! Saphir? What are you doing here? Your letter said you were headed to Illusia. Figured you could use another soldier. Don't worry, the castle is safe and secure. But about King Morian... I'm sorry, Saphir. I should have protected him. <sighs> he was so sure he would return. He knew the risks. For whatever it's worth, I'm glad you're still above ground. Let's make sure that doesn't change anytime soon. Saphir? Prince Alchrist, am I glad to see you. I got Prince Diamond's letter about heading to Illusia. Figured you could use an extra soldier. I appreciate your coming here. I'm sure Diamond and the Divine Dragon will as well. How are you and the other royal soldiers faring? The castle's plenty safe, but we spent a long time waiting for our king. I apologize that we weren't able to return his body to the castle, but we will not bring further grief to Brodia's people. I will see that my brother returns alive. You're a credit to our kingdom, Prince Alchrist. Know that I've got your back. I won't let one more drop of proud Brodian blood be spilled. Let us waste no time. I must return to Lady Vale. I've got a lot riding on this, so do me a favor and die quick. How do you like to be hurt, Divine One? I'm a people pleaser. Hand over the ring, Gris. <laughs> Ignoring me? Aw, oh, that hurts my feelings. Fine, I'll give you the ring. As soon as I've gotten my fill! So what's the plan? You gonna stab me? Mash me? Shred me to ribbons? Two hounds or four? Doesn't matter to me. I'll fight, and that's that. If it isn't the traitor, don't worry. You'll see Marnie soon. How dare you speak her name! 
I will kill you quickly. You'll be buried before you feel any pain. It's nothing personal. I'm merely following Lady Vale's orders. It is a sad day that I must fight you, Mavia. And here I thought we were family. Family? You killed Marnie. I should have stepped in sooner. Then Lady Vale and Marnie might have had a chance. Who are you looking at? The me in front of you? Or the me from before? Ah, my loyal knight, Mavir. Aren't you going to protect me anymore? My time with the Four Hounds is behind me. I will not protect you. Same as ever, Mavir. You won't acknowledge me. You won't even say my name. Well, don't worry. I haven't forgotten your reward. How about a swift death? I will sacrifice anything, everything, to save Lady Vale from you. Give me strength, Marnie. Oh, how I wanted to find you. How I wanted to kill you. Queen Lumera's pet. The whimpering, pathetic worm. You are not my sibling. And you're not mine. Vale is. Give her back. I am Vale. And I'll prove it, here and now, by destroying you. That's a neat trick, getting killed but not dying. Just what I'd expect from the Fell Dragon's kid. Chris. All else aside, I'm grateful you told me the truth. While I can't forgive what you've done, I do want to ask you one thing. Why are you doing all of this? Is Zephia making you... What kind of question is that? I'm here because I want to be, okay? I see. <laughs> How sweet. Worried about little old Gris. That's an insult to me and Zephia. I won't forgive that ever. Ever! Ever! I'm gonna hurt you every which way and then kill you once and for all! You come to get revenge? Or were you hoping the Hounds would take you back? We were a family, Mavir. That makes us like brothers. No one would blame you for missing us. I am here to strike you down. I have nothing more to say. Jeez, a stiff till the end. Guess there's no point in holding back the killing then. So, Lady Vale, where's my reward? Reward? The real Lady Vale promised me all the agony my heart could want. I was really looking forward to it. The cold, the severity, but in the end, nothing. Not even a scratch. That Vale? She's gone now. Yeah, because you killed her. So you can't be all bad. Now, you tell me. How are you gonna do it? Kill me, I mean. I'll never forgive you, Gris. But I never hated you. At least from the start. I think I understand why you were with the Hounds. Why you're you, but I'm not cruel. None of this will be... a reward. My dear, sweet, divine dragon. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Zephia. You must have known who I was a thousand years ago. Yes, I believe we met. But the details are hazy. Lord Sombron had so many children, you see. A bug would have had more luck getting my attention. Oh. Am I that forgettable? Oh, not at all. You're the Divine Dragon now. But in due time, you'll be me. One tends to lose count of the lives that pass by. You'll understand one day. I will never be like you. <laughs> well, it barely matters anyway. You aren't leaving this place. You're going to die right now. Ah, oh, Lady Vale. You mean to kill me, do you? That's right. Those eyes, so like your father's. You really resemble him, you know. Far more than the other Lady Vale did. You don't see me, do you, Zephia? You see me and you think of Papa. Or that other me. When we met, you seemed so kind. I really liked you. Really? I hated you. <laughs> no, that's not right. I was indifferent to you. 
<laughs> Lord Sombron's puppet. That's all you were. A thing to be used and cast off. Yet somehow, I knew this day would come. The day I would kill you? No wonder you didn't like me. Well, you finally have my undivided attention. You're going to kill me, Mavia? After everything? At one time, I would not have imagined it myself. I believed our path to be just. That we were family. Family? I'm surprised to hear that from you. I am, I admit, solitary by nature. But I felt a true bond with the Hounds. I let our family distract me too long. Until you took Marnie from us. You know, Mom. You can turn your back on all this. You can leave. I left you, Zephyr, after you made a wreckage of the Hounds. I don't have any last sentiments. You see? I learned something from you in the end. <laughs> My turn! You're quite strong. Lord Sombron. No. Vale. Is that you? What? No. Vale is younger than you are. Forget what I said. Are you... related to Vale? She... is my youngest sibling and littlest sister. I had many sisters and many brothers. Most of them have been killed. In awful ways. Will Father dispose of Vale, too? If I think about that, it makes me sad. I would like... to stand by my sister. Always. An ally. A friend. She's that important to you. You... look too much like her. It bothers me. I'll defeat you now. Whoever you are. You are not my little sister. You're right. I'm not your little sister. Still, I'm glad I was here with you to... hear all of that. Thank you, sister. I sense that you are looking and staring. You will not win that way. Or are... you scared? Yes, of course. I've been scared from the start of all this. It's only natural. Scared of losing battles. Of losing what's important to me. Losing people I care about. I will admit, I am jealous of you. You have my face, but you say the things you feel. Out loud, I am not allowed to show fear. If I say I am afraid, I will be labeled a defect. I follow orders, I don't think. I am like the corrupted. They are awful. You really dislike the Corrupted, too. I... hate them. They have killed many of my sisters and my brothers. If I lose to you, they will kill me. No. No, they will kill me in time. No matter what. <laughs> but... You don't die. I'm proof of that. What did you say? Never mind. Let's finish. Come at me, or I will come at you. This is like looking in a mirror. What I see bothers me. It's been a while, Vander. Queen Numera, I cannot believe we have a chance to speak once more. I apologize for failing in my duty as your protector. And I pray you'll forgive me for defeating you here. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. <sighs> I wish we could return to that day, before all of this. If we could go back there, to that courtyard, I would... No. Even if I might take that selfish moment, my duty stands. I must stop you here, today. Prepare yourself, Queen Lumera. I'm sorry, Queen Lumera. 
I have to do this. That's the spirit, Fram. Oh, what? It's almost like that time when... What time? Should I have killed you then? Queen Lumera. I... I... Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. Those words... They sound familiar. Oh, let's find out if they save your life. I want to be with my child. That's my only desire. Please, stay out of this. Here to kill me. Again. Why another attempt? You must know the result will be the same. I still have to try. No matter how many times I fail, I'm not going to give up. My sister taught me. I can shape the future for the better. Uh, my child taught you that. How I envy you. That memory. That time together. Everyone, it seems, has a future. And hopes and dreams, too. Why should you get such treasures while I'm denied them? It's not fair. Be gone, once and for all. Away with you! Mother! Here we are at last. How about we train here? You'll be the one fighting. The emblem... Uh. What? You set that back at... The emblem lends you there. Uh. No! These memories... I wanted to spend time with you. To chat for hours. Take long walks together. Share meals. And then... Then? Stop, please. It's all right. There are lots of things I wish we'd done to. We weren't able to, but that's okay. It's better than seeing you suffer like this. You can still surrender, Mother. Please. For me. No! Lord Samron gave me more time with my child. I refuse to waste it. I won't let anyone take that away. Not even you. I waited for so long. A thousand years of waiting. Allow me. Uh, Over here. Uh, I, what have I? Time. It's moving too fast. I can't seem to keep up. You fought so hard. Traveled so far, merely to die? Papa... Oh, the defect. I thought myself rid of you, yet here you are. <laughs> you laugh. You're angry because I persisted and survived. It almost feels like praise. We never spent time together as father and daughter like I wanted. But I'm glad I didn't give up. I made it. Because now, I can be the one who defeats you. You are a malicious child. I would expect no less from my own. I hope you're watching, Mama. I'm going to stop him. Just like you told me. You are pathetic. As if spurning me to be a divine dragon was not enough. Patricide. Unforgivable. You killed your own children. Tried to destroy the world. For your selfish desires. You're the one who is beyond forgiveness. I said your world meant nothing to me. It's people. My children. You. Once I leave, I will forget you. Even if we met again, I would not recall your face. In other words, you'll make the same mistakes as before. So which of us is pathetic? I'll help. My turn! Oh. <sighs> How foolish. <laughs> this is not over. I sense you, Shadow, and I believe I know who you are. I've defeated you before, and I will again. 
For I hold the exalted falchion. I have this. I won't falter. <laughs> We meet again, Duma. Though I'm not sure you are him. Please, do no more harm. Allow your great and weary soul the rest it deserves. The Divine Sword Tyrfing is awakened. That marks you as... No. Impossible. As a Knight of Granville, and a descendant of one of the Twelve Crusaders, I shall be your end! Excuse me! Radiate evil, but are you truly the Dark Bishop who I fought once before? Is your intent to spread fear and despair in this world too? I will never allow that to happen! Why are you here, and in that form? We have no quarrel, so I'll do my part to stop this. And I'll again free your soul from endless fighting. Are you watching, Father? Fate is full of surprises. Who would have thought we'd meet again? Yet this, I'm afraid, is our final parting. Soon, you'll only be a stain on my sword. I sense a miasma of evil coming from you. Could you be the Demon King? If you are, I will defeat you. Before you beguile anyone, or cause a tragedy. I have this! I know exactly who you are. I can feel it. You're the Mad King. I won't hold back against you. I'll fight with all my strength! You... Has Sombron summoned you again to pass judgment on the world? I'm not going to let that happen. Yoon, please give me strength! Chasing after me again. You who are the wings of despair and the breath of ruin. If that's so, then I challenge that fate. Die now that our future can live. Denied. <laughs> I didn't want to see you, but if it's true that you are at the end of every path I take, then I will stop you every time. I won't give up! The King of Liberation... revived? I doubt you'll go peacefully. Well... Neither will I. The flow of time may have brought us both here, but now I will end your journey. Wow! The 
Khans fought in the arena for the right to rule? It's almost like fate brought us here. The Khans didn't battle. They picked champions to fight on their behalf. Whew. If that is the case, I think it fortunate that this place is not the true arena. <laughs> Indeed. Now, come at me. What's wrong? You won't win just by standing there. Your stance has no openings. I don't see how I could hit you no matter where I strike. Doubt will only dull your attacks. Trust in yourself and come at me with everything. <sighs> Understood. Here I come. It feels a little strange to fight you. I'm reminded of my father and all that happened. Oh, I'm rather happy about this fight myself. Facing someone as skilled as you is a pleasure. <laughs> If only he had been so encouraging. Very well. Let's begin. Seeing you makes me feel like I might see my father again. Too bad that's not how it works. Unfortunately, I'm neither a substitute for your father nor his memory. Still, I can see you've become quite talented. So show me just how much you've grown. I am refined in strength and charm. If my father were here, he'd be in awe of what I've become. These plains, the green land, the wind, they raised me to be strong. And you? I'm still improving, but I have gained strength during our journey. I'm glad to hear you're feeling stronger, but I won't be holding back. There's something different about you, Fogato. I decided since I was fighting you, I should be extra serious. You have no intention of losing then. I see. Never. If we're doing this, and I've got to win. It's kind of strange to face off against you. I mean, it was my duty to safeguard your ring. Is it hard for you to see me as your opponent? No. I mean, I want to show you how strong I am. Good answer. Now show me what you can do. I like that look in your eye. It's clear your fighting spirit is strong. I know the only way I'll beat you is to fight harder than you. Then you understand what lies ahead. Now show me you can fight as well as you talk. I've gotta say, it feels a little weird to fight someone who's supposed to be an ally. Just because we're fighting doesn't make us enemies. Not this time. We're still friends. But for now, prepare for battle. Okay, I've got no choice but to fight. Let's do it. Depending on the wielder, power can be used for good or evil with equal ease. That's why the heart of the one controlling the power is important. The heart? That would mean my heart determines how the power is used. All right, Violet. I'm ready. You saved my life before. I didn't expect us to end up fighting. The world is full of surprises. The fortune teller didn't foresee this event? My, how very strange. Tease me all you like, but I think knowing the result of this fight would be boring. The future isn't set or planned. I control my own fate, as you do yours. I remember how I felt when I stood on the field that day. This is where your destiny branched, isn't it? I think I can understand what you went through. Do not swing timidly without resolve. You must genuinely try to kill me. As you say, Corin. I've chosen my path, and I'll travel as far as it takes me. I didn't think we'd get to hang out this much, Erica. It's been lots of fun. I'm glad that it's you who engaged with me. Every day is a new experience. Aw, thanks so much. Now you've got me blushing, though. <laughs> well, raise your weapon or I'll have to embarrass you further. Well, Erica, it's time to see which of us is more graceful in battle. I'm sorry if my skill proves to be too much for you. No apology necessary. Seeing you grow as a warrior has been a pleasure, but that doesn't mean I plan on losing. Fighting you here, it feels so strange. I feel it too. Facing you like this is making me stronger. You've been strong from the start. Now, show me you have the skills to back up your strength. This isn't the first time we've locked swords. Do you remember training with Queen Lumera? Of course. How could I ever allow myself to forget? Alas, those days are far behind us. So we must move on, you and I into the future. 
We shall not allow her wishes to be in vain. You had better be ready, Lord Sigurd. I dedicate this strike to Queen Lumera. On what do you stake your life? Tell me, how do you imagine the world once your war ends? I wish for a peaceful world. For myself, my friends, everyone. A world that we will build for ourselves, where no one will be hurt by the greed of others. It requires power to turn a dream into reality. Show me you have what it takes. Be honest with yourself. What do you want? What do you hope for? Deep in your heart. But I... What if I fail again? Life is not a simple path, and mistakes are only mistakes. Set them right by making amends. You have faced your own weaknesses before. Do so again, and you will only grow stronger. I have been waiting. Are you prepared? Of course, Leaf. I will face you anywhere, at any time. Then let us begin. A fair battle between equals. I've never been great at fighting magic users, so maybe go easy on me? <sighs> Sorry, but that's not the point of this. I won't be holding back. You took me from that shrine, and now it's my turn to guide you to somewhere new. Is that right? Guess I'd better be ready for you then. I remember that battle as if it were yesterday. It's almost like I'm there again. The past and the future are together in my heart. You're a strong combatant, but I'm not going to lose. Very well. I'd be let down if you held anything back. Lord Roy? Is there not someone more, um, adequate you should be fighting? Why are you talking nonsense, Alchrist? You are the Prince of Brodia, the land I was entrusted to. Who better could I face? Come, let our battle begin! Oh, you're to be my opponent. Well then, I'd best not relax. It pleases me that you would say so. I feel the same. It is my duty to show the emblem entrusted to Brodia a spectacular fight. This will be quite the battle then. Come on, Diamant, fight! You seem much more focused, more intense than usual. My sword, the Binding Blade, was kept in this land for centuries. My memory of retrieving it must be granting me additional power. If a memory can grant power, then I'll give you a fight we'll both remember. I must admit, going to battle against you is rather strange, Saline. Oh, quite. I would rather chat over a cup of tea. Yet, as this is a trial, tea is not an option. So instead of polite conversation, I will fight you to the last, yes? Of course. Come at me now. Bring everything you have to bear, and claim victory. You seem quite happy, Alfred. I was thinking how you've been in Firenay all this time, but you've never seen how strong we are. Well, you're awfully full of confidence. It's hard not to be when you already know you're gonna win the battle. You are a kind soul. However, the world cannot be saved with kindness alone. I've learned it takes strength as well. One alone is a plan only for failure. Both are essential. Now show me you understand. Marth, do I really have to fight you? I... I don't want to hurt any of my friends. I am of no consequence to you. This battle is about conquering oneself. Conquering oneself. Ah, <sighs> I understand. I must conquer the veil I used to be. Now raise your chin. You are not alone anymore. Remember that and triumph. Much has come to pass. Meetings, farewells, and reunions alike. How are you faring? I could never put those feelings into words. So, I'll answer you with my weapon. I would ask for nothing less. Here I come. I was wondering, do you enjoy being a divine dragon? I didn't always, but now, yes, I think I do. It taught me what I'm truly capable of. I see. I'm very curious to learn all about you. Will you tell me more about yourself? Of course. I will tell you all that I can. Well, Tiki, it sure has been a while. I'm glad to see you. How have you been? Mama! I'm so glad to see you. I've been doing so, so well. If we win this battle, I hope we can fight side by side again. I'd feel better having you as my ally. Of course. 
would love to travel with you once more. And then we can chat forever and ever. No more! You're strong! 